Uh, let's uh, together investigate what is compiled uh, with Power BI. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm a person who is afraid of AI technologies from since I saw the first Terminator movie. That's why it was interesting for me to investigate uh, what we have now in our BI uh, area. So, yeah, uh, today I will talk about Copilot, about uh, how Copilot uh, could help us to build our DAX measures. Also, what about visuals, uh, how we could use Copilot um, to build our reports and charts and everything, uh, what could be useful for us there. And I'll just um, uh, also will discuss some important moments, just how to set up Copilot uh, to work with it. So uh, what is Copilot? Uh, everyone knows about AI, AI that everywhere now we, we have these possibilities. Our technologies could help us with some information. So uh, Microsoft says to us that it's great new tool that could help us with all the insights of our data, that everything will be so simple for now for us, for developers, for users. Uh, we don't need to have any specific knowledge just to operate with our data. So everything should be simple and we can talk with Copilot with this tool just as with another person and we just have to describe in conversational language what we need, uh, what we should see on our charts and narratives, etc. So it's just over you. Uh, interesting part, uh, the most interesting for developers, I think it's uh, Copilot and Dux. Uh, I'll, I want to show you how to work with Dux, <clears throat> with Copilot. Uh, I hope that all of us have some, some background with Power BI. Everyone knows what it is. Dux is a language that helps us to build the measures how we create our measures, uh, calculated columns, everything. So Copilot should help us with all these uh, very huge calculation rows, measures. It should help us a lot. So uh, we can use in uh, Power BI desktop, uh, pay your attention that for now, uh, any activities with DAX uh, available only in Power BI Desktop. So better to have uh, the latest version and later I'll, sa I'll say to you what we should turn on in our previous feature just to use this Copilot possibilities in DAX. Uh, so we could just talk with this small icon uh, and we could easier explain what we want to see here, what we want to calculate, uh, what should be in our measures. It's just overview information. Uh, and now I want to see, uh, I want to show you how to work with it in our Power BI desktop. So here I have really simple data set. Sorry, I just played with it a little bit. We have day table, uh, two dimension tables and one fact table. Everything is so simple. I am a huge fan of Audi uh, auto, that's why my data set about Audi, sorry. So it's uh, just simple uh, charts uh, we have. Let me show you just for understanding what we have in our fact table. We have some locations where we have uh, manufacturing of this uh, auto country, city. Uh, we have here table with products and our fact table, main two columns, it's uh, main three columns, sorry. It's period, amount, and count. So here we have just simple chart, uh, our amount per data, amount per country, everything is simple. Where we can find our Copilot possibility in quick measures. When you click here, if everything, okay, you have possibility, you have premium capacity, and you can use Copilot, You'll find here just magic button, uh, suggestions with Copilot. Okay, let's start. Uh, I want to be a polite, that's why we can start with please. Uh, please uh, show value. 
values or amounts um, by country. Generate, uh, he, will, uh, he will have, not always, it's work for the, from the first time. Let's try, okay, sure. Amount. And here we have some value, it's not so important. What is important for us, it's a measure. It's this DAX measure. Okay, what we see here, it wants to calculate amount by country. Errors in a school, just let's add it to our data model. It should be added and here we have it as a measure. Uh, always we have measure as a measure name, so let's name it. <clears throat> Amount by country. And let's check uh, if it's right. Here we have the same, just amount field, just country. Uh, let's add this our new measure here and let's just compare. Everything is great, everything is work. Uh, Copilot works great with really basic, simple calculations because uh, it's, uh, it's a tool that know nothing about our data. And uh, previous I played uh, with it. I want to share the same uh, the same example with you. Uh, we want to see uh, previous period data. Uh, show previous year data. Let's start with it. Let's generate our query. You see, we asked uh, show previous year data. I wasn't clear. Uh, show amount. Amount for previous year data. And let's generate it. So what do we see here? Calculate amount, same, uh, same period last year. It's now on the function index. Okay, let's try. Let's say it's previous year. Previous year amount clear. Let's just add uh, this measure to our chart when we have this date range. So this one. Previous year amount. Here we have just uh, summarizing, and we see that something not really cool looks wrong because, uh, and I just created almost the same previous uh, measure, calculate sum of amount, same period last year. So function is the same, but a little tricky. Uh, here we have date. Let's just add it into the chat and I'll show it to you. So uh, here we, uh, let's check these my measures. Uh, for example, for May uh, end of the May, we have uh, this amount, and let's check it. End of the May, the same amount. Let's compare these two measures. Uh, here we have just date, but here uh, Copilot just took this part also, and it's wrong in this case. Sorry, we don't have right number. Let's change it. After su suggestion, we have possibility to change all of the measures. And now we see that it's uh, previous year amount uh, was created by Copilot and with our fixes. Now it's everything is right. So, uh, you should be ready uh, that you have to check all the measures. You have to check all the data uh, that Copilot gives to us. Uh, let's play a little bit uh, with average. Uh, Copilot, really uh, be ready that Copilot uh, don't like to work with average data. Uh, I'll show it to you later on the server. Uh, I asked him, a lot of times to build, please just build me 
chart with average data by country, but it doesn't work out like this. I'll show it to you later. Let's just ask in DAX uh, to show us such chart. So show not chart, sorry, measure for such chart. Uh, show, let's use just number, amount per count. Per count by product. Everything sh looks like should be uh, clear. We just want to see which amount we should uh, we have per each product. And let's generate this measure. We have something. Uh, we have something product amount code. Let's just add it. And rename, not to forget what is it. And now let's check it on a chart. Because uh, unfortunately, we can be sure in Copilot. Let's just add a simple chart with, with our product. With our product, uh, with our amount, sorry, not here, here, amount and count also. This is our, it's not very good visualization, but this is our normal, uh, how many amount. And what about our measure amount by product? Uh, here we uh, here we see that everything is the same. So data is the same. In this case, we understand that nothing really special. We just have amount amount by product without any calculations regarding uh, count of these things. Let's try to let's try to make this measure via copilot in any case. Okay, I need just divide. Amount to count by product. Uh, I understand that uh, we'll have the same result if, if we'll have just amount. Uh, you see, even with the wrong um, spelling, everything is okay because it's AI. It's uh, really clear for this tool, what we want to have here. So generate, add, we have, again, divide. Now we have sum of amount, divide of count of products. Now we understand that it's not what we want to have. Sorry. Amount. To count by product. And again, uh, previous we had this just uh, divide sum of amount to count of product, but it's not, it's wrong. Okay, let's input product. Now we see that uh, Copilot uh, doesn't understand what we want to have. And finally, uh, when we have really basic requirement, it works good. In this case, we just have what we want to have. It's a sum of amount divided of sum of count. Uh, you see, uh, that's how you have to check all the time. Uh, we, we can play with it a lot, but in any case, it won't pick up really huge calculations, some specific uh, requirements, but... Uh, with something simple, it works great. Um, for example, we want to see amount for China country. We have China in our list of countries. Looks great. Let's just check it. 
So we have sum of amount. Yep, everything is clear. Just input product from here. <clears throat> and country as X, X is 10. Let's just add amount here just to show all the contrast. So you see that for China, everything is clear, is, is perfect, calculation is right. Uh, so main idea uh, after investigating Dax Pisco pilot, uh, we can be sure in it, it could be useful for simple calculations. But, and yes, we have to check it all the time and compare with our data. Uh, the easiest way uh, how to play with it, I, I'm not recommending to use it for building of huge reports of something not basic uh, for financial or any another reports. You can just uh, build this as a chart, just add amount, something, count on, on our charts and compare with uh, these copilot measures because it's not, uh, it's not really... Uh, good tool for now uh, for developing uh, as it is from copilot uh, developers should be involved all the time and in this case we could be i'm not sure that happy uh, but we could be calm that bi developers won't leave this market in nearest time uh, nothing special uh, we could use uh, copilot only for quick measures and also one who think, but I don't have uh, access for it now. When you create, uh, here we on a, a schema mood, uh, schema area. When you create any of uh, measures, you have here and description, uh, this button, and we could create description of this measure with Copilot. Uh, it, it works really cool. Let's just explain what you calculate here in the measures. Unfortunately, this you are not available for me for now, but if you have uh, <clears throat> right settings for, for your account, you can use it and you can add here the description uh, what was created by Copilot. Uh, do you have maybe any questions regarding Docs and Copilot? Because I want next I want to share with you Copilot with service. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you try to, to provide some additional content, uh, context uh, during uh, docs creation? For example, do not just ask to create something specific, but for example, try to explain uh, the data in your model uh, with like uh, normal language and after that ask to create some docs measure. Um, for example, um... it cannot understand what is count value and you can describe that my count value co contains off and this and after that ask uh yeah uh, i know that uh, you also know that on server it works good uh, we can teach it uh here i didn't try it uh i just think that here uh it's my opinion that here in uh, desktop we have um, lower possibility to work uh, to teach it mm -hmm. and then on a server because uh as we saw, uh, the uh, Kabbalah desktop knows definitely what is count here. It pick up uh, this uh, column in our calculations and everything was okay. Mm. Uh, just different understanding of the data. Uh, that's why yeah, we should know our data just to check uh, Kabbalah measures. Okay, and Maria, if you go to the Dux pane, uh, it's uh, on the bottom, yeah, it's this one. Uh, is it the same functionality? Oh. We do not have uh, copilot button here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's why Sorry. I uh, don't uh, describe mm -hmm. what is it and what we have here. Unfortunately, okay, uh, yes, okay. New feature in Power BI in previous features. So, is if there are any questions regarding docs? If not, we can come back later or. Yeah, what we have here in our presentations. Uh, Copilot in DAX, it's just, it was just overview. It It's really cool to play with it. Uh, you can spend some time to play with Copilot, uh, not uh, as with 
smart friend, but just with small helper, it could be useful for you. Uh, what about copilot and service? Sorry, this slide. Uh, we have three possibilities there. Uh, we could create report uh, summarizing a Power BI report. Just I'll show it to you later and create a narrative. Everything um, is simple there. I'll just show you my screen with our. It, it was previous report that we played. Uh, everything is clear here. Uh, just simple charts, nothing special. Uh, so on the server, we have two possibilities how to work with Copilot at all, as a viewer and as a developer. Uh, let's start from developer stage. Uh, it's really more interesting. Uh, let's just click edit. And here we have such great button with Copilot. And let's see what we have here. So we have two main here uh, buttons. It suggests content for this report, uh, where Copilot tries to analyze our data set and just give our to us some insights and create a page that shows something that uh, we have to explain to Copilot. Let's start with this one. We should wait a little bit and let's see what Copilot uh, could show us on our really small data set. So what could be here? Uh, here we see that uh, Copilot prepared four draft of the reports. Let's let's try all of them, maybe not all of them. Uh, I just want you to see that they are really, um, they're almost equal one to each other because uh, You'll see it for now. We have just basic charts. Uh, as usual, it's the same uh, slicers. But to be honest, it's cool that Copilot and Power BI provides us with a lot of charts. You'll see it for now. Uh, we just pick up this sales performance by product. We'll analyze amount and count of sales by countries, uh, sorry, by products across different location and time periods. So we'll see for now. And after that, we'll try to create another suggestion and we'll just compare uh, those charts that we have in the end. But what is cool here that we don't need to create any charts, uh, any uh, nice visualization uh, before Copilot can analyze it. So it works only with our data data model. It analyzes it. Uh, it's not important what we have uh, as a report here, as a chart. So what we have here, for the first view, it's really cool uh, overview page. We have sum of amount, count of products, countries, I don't know why we need count of quarters if we have months, dates, years. It's just up to Copilot. So he really took some, some different uh, columns and values from our data set. To what we have, a sum of amount by months and product. So here we have, as legend, we have products. We have um, uh, amounts as a, as a y-axis. Uh, here we have, to be honest, uh, no, it's not the same. It's just amount by product, some map with our locations. It's really cool. And I think, I think that, yeah, uh, everything built right because size of these um, circles uh, equal size of amount uh, on these locations. Uh, we have some by country and some table with amount and uh, count. Looks cool. Also, we have additionally country slicer and product slicer. It would be good to have here, I think, also period slicer, but it's not so important. Great overview slide, not very useful for for some data analysts who really know want to know more about the data, it's just the highest level of overview. Okay, 
another one, let's create this uh, market share by country. And we'll just see what we have there. I think that one or at least one or two charts will be the same. We will see it for now. Uh, it's a question for me, how about pick up, uh, for example, the sum of amount, it's uh, not relevant to any of data-driven decisions because we have just amount for two and a half, for three, for three years. And okay, we have really huge company with, uh, more than 21 billion of amount, but what could we take uh, from this knowledge? I'm not sure that it's really useful. Uh, or in this case, it would be uh, cool to show count of this amount. So what we have here, we have different, uh, he, uh, on previous page, we had another chart, product and amount like this one, it was um, horizontal, but here we have vertical, it's great update. Also, we have here some measure, I think measure that we created, uh, it was amount by country. Great, it's very useful that we have 100% of something, uh, the same count of country. Uh, here we have count of year, cool, and count of months, we have 12. Everything as we have in our dimension uh, data tab table. Sum of amount by countries. Uh, map is the same. And here we have a little bit another. Let's just compare. Here we have months and amount. And here we have city and amount and count. Looks really similar to each other. Oh, sorry. Here we have year and country. On the previous slide, we have something different. We have country and product. Let's play a little bit deeper with it. Uh, we see that uh, what Copilot could build from the box. Uh, let's play uh, this explanation to Copilot what we want to see. Uh, please create a page that shows to us amount for the past year year uh, <laughs> for Germany for example not always copilot understands us from the first uh, step uh, I played a little bit and from time to time, uh, I think that we'll catch uh, we'll catch some case uh, when we have to describe more to Copilot what we want to see here. Let's just wait a little bit. So if you have uh, some data set shared with you, and if if you have such capacity, uh, you can just build uh, such overview reports. Just to investigate your data, you can't deep investigate it, but at least something. So I asked to create for previous year sales for Germany. Uh, in this case, we have right title of this slide, but let's check it. What we have here, we don't have any filters, any slicers, anything. For this, for this charts, and also uh, Copilot use only that measure that we have. In this case, uh, we understand that uh, requirement for previous year for Germany is nothing for, for Copilot. What uh, he created, he just added country and year slicer, where we uh, where we have all the periods and all the countries for now. And if I want to see previous year for Germany, I just have to choose it. Uh, because, yeah, he used only data and only that measure that we have in our data model. He doesn't create anything just uh, because we want it. He just used what we have for now. And okay, for now, when I choose year and 
a country, I see what I wanted to see. But let's try uh, let's try to ask him, uh, Valeria provide me with great example. Uh, what doesn't work with Capellet? Uh, let's ask to create only one chart. Uh, and that example that I shared with you previous, average. It doesn't like to work with average, uh, with average amount per product, for example. Let's see what we'll have here. So we have to create not a full page of some charts, but only one. I can create charts. I can help you create a new page, summarizing data, and answer con content questions or suggest page talks. As we see, we can create only one chart. OK. Create page. Create page with the same. Ah, and I, I can copy it. I don't know why. Sorry. Um, and let's see what we'll have for now. I think we'll have uh, some questions regarding average. Or just have Again, some not, not specific page with uh, any data regarding just amount and product. Let's see. Cool thing that we can be sure what we'll see for now. Is, it's like a game with AI. Okay, it's interesting. Let's see what we have here. We have average on title everywhere. Wow. For well, now we have average of amount. I was wrong. It works cool. We have average almost everywhere. Uh, cool. Average by data, by product, uh, and by amount. But let's check a little bit. Uh, I want to add here. I want to have add here just amount just to compare what we have for average. Yeah, it works really great because you see here we have this column with average, and here we have this uh, usual col uh, column amount by product by country. So everything is works. Cool. It's really cool. And here we have also, I don't know why count of here and any charts, but it's cool. I asked to average per product. We have sum of amount by product. We have average by product and country. And here is a chart what we asked to do. Cool. Everything works fine here. It's great. Uh, let's just save this file. So not that bad. OK, we can save it. I'll solve it later. Let's go just read in, uh, for the view. And let's play with possibilities that we could have as a viewer here. We have uh, just previous version. Everything is simple. Let's just, uh, we have here uh, two possibilities. Create a bullet list of insights. Let's try with this one. And we'll just have some uh, text notes uh, with the most important, um, it's not very good example uh, because we don't have a lot of data, but in any case, uh, we'll just have some notes with insights uh, based on our charts, on our visual. And we see that just uh, we can I can't uh, make this letter speaker unfortunately. 
So yeah, I can. So what do we have here? <clears throat> we have information about trends uh, <clears throat> between our first date, I think at last day, date, and we have such insights. Let me, sorry. We have such insights we see when we want to pick here. What's wrong with this? Uh, I was in, sorry, I was in on the one page. Uh, that's why it shows that just, just one in the remark. So here we have list of insights regarding our data. Best, uh, if, uh, it's really useful if you're creating some presentations uh, for your colleagues, for your management, and you need just uh, fill this text box. Uh, and just give some insights with numbers. Uh, works really good, this possibility. Uh, definitely better than charts. Costco palette analyze all the information that we have in our uh, on, on our charts and shows our just total. It's really cool. Let's use the, uh, the second possibility, summarize uh, visuals on this page. And let's compare this to text. It should be interesting. We have definitely another text, uh, but with uh, almost with the same um, data insights, what we have here. Uh, it's a really small uh, example for, for, for this possibility, for this. Uh, main notes about uh, our data set. But even on these two small charts, we have a lot of information um, about trend, about country, who is leading, and et cetera, et cetera. It's really cool. And we have one possibility about narratives. Uh, I'm not sure, do you use, as usual, this narrative visual? but maybe some of you uh, likes it and we can use it in a copilot preview. Select an option. Uh, you see this um, narrative, it's different, not uh, that previous possibility that we try because here we can choose uh, which pages we want to analyze. Okay, let's analyze two pages. It works better when we have a lot of charts, everything, but I got uh, this problem with saving. I'll test it later. So we see for now. In a few minutes, we have good, I think it's a really good note about main amounts, about countries and everything uh, here. We have information uh, about all the countries that we have, uh, about percents of total. It's really cool. It works really fine for now. So uh, what we have, in, uh, we look through this uh, creation uh, part. We should have capacity. We should have, um, we should be able to create uh, such reports. We should check all the time what uh, Copilot and Power BI uh, wants to build for us. Uh, I mean, about measures and about charts and pages. Uh, it could be uh, as a basic level of really cool report uh, reporting. You just can use, uh, use it and change it uh, how you want to use it. So create narrative. Uh, Create, uh, from my perspective, create a narrative. It's almost the same that we have with uh, these two possibilities from a viewer, from a viewer perspective. Um, but it's uh, it's really cool narrative you can use as a developer uh, in edit mode as a developer. But if you just have possibility to view this report, if you can change it, you can. Let's try to save it again. Uh, no, I can save it. Uh, <clears throat> Reading view. Uh, no. 
But if you don't have possibility to change this report, you can just use this button and have list of insights from this report, from this visualization. Uh, do you have any questions regarding regarding the compiled on Power BI server? Okay, if not, we can continue what we have here. Uh, yeah, some important moment, the most important for me as for BI developer that Copilot don't understand me. Maybe uh, I'm just talking wrong with it, but in any case, uh, it's a role tool from my perspective and we should explain, uh, should try to teach, teach it on a server, just explain our data and have possibility to build what we need. Uh, but yeah, you should check all the time. It's very important because uh, as we saw in title, we have something regarding, for example, previous year Germany, but, but in real life, we have just overview without any uh, pre-filtering. That's why you have to know your data and have to be able to check what Copilot gives to you. And a little bit about what should be set uh, set up before you, before you start to work with Copilot. You should have uh, this uh, capacity. Uh, and uh, this capacity should be in one of these regions that we have here on the link. Uh, I'm not sure will we share this presentation or we'll have it somewhere uh, on the source, uh, but here is a link with uh, that regions where we, we can use this uh, capacity. Uh, what we should have in our Power BI desktop or for work with Copilot measures and also with, I think it's also related to this narrative visual, we should turn on in our file, in our options, in preview features, we should turn on uh, these items regarding to Copilot. Sorry, where is it? We should just wait. In preview features, uh, we have turn on QA, and we have in the end, uh, in the last version, we have this compiled items. You should turn, turn on it just to be able to work with it. And in Power BI service, uh, you can work with Copilot only if your administrator set up uh, this workspace, right? We have to turn on some uh, settings on admin panel on a, on workspace. In this case, you can work with it. And nothing special, really. Everything is easy. Just you just have to have possibility to set up. I think that's it. I think that I see some questions here. Um, it, it was not really questions, but yeah. you, can, you can see. It's not a question. Uh, yeah, we could also, yeah, you're right, we could also generate um, on server, we could uh, ask Copilot to generate script. Copilot can't, uh, on server can't add these measures, uh, just add this measure to data model. Uh, but we can just copy this query and add it to to our data model. Yep, I think we have a question. Yeah, we have a question, uh, Sebastian, please. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Maria, for this information. Um, I do have I do have a question regarding uh, if Copilot is able to work on the metadata of your model. I mean, it's like. Please clean up all the all the 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 data that I'm not using, or please let me know which are the tables that are not be using the whole and uh, dashboard or something like that. You know, it's a cool it... question. I didn't investigate it, but it's really interesting. Uh, let's maybe let's try to do it for now. I think we have a few minutes. I cool. think it's, it's better to. To ask here, 
But in this case, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we can try to ask it to build a list of tables that we not use. Yeah, something uh, like that. Um, It's really interesting. And also, uh, let's, sorry, but it's not possible uh, possible to list tables that are not being used for charts through this interface. Uh, due to service, we can do it. Um, I'm not sure what we can do here because here we have just possibility to create quick measures. Uh, that's why, unfortunately, it would be really cool uh, for us, for developers, just to show uh, all the tables and measures that we are not that we're not using anywhere. But I don't think so. On desktop, uh, we don't have such possibility. And here, you see, yeah. Sorry, continue, Sebastian. No, no, no. That's I just want to say thank you. <laughs> uh, not a problem, but. Yeah, it would be really cool to have such possibility. Uh, what about queries? I think let me check one second in the chat. Um, about uh, queries on a server. Uh, query for... Let's ask uh sorry, it should be right spelling. Uh let's ask a pilot to give us a query uh regarding uh with some specific requirement. Could you please specify uh you see in this case uh what we see on the screen? Could you uh, please specify what kind of data or metric uh, related to Germany you are interested in? Um uh, for example, I am looking for sales data. I uh, need some of amount. Yep. Let's see what we have for now. Uh, we can explain to Copilot what we want uh, to see. Uh, now we have, you see that we have just here, um, we have some. But we need a query to add it to our model on Power BI desktop. Let's try to get this query in the end. Mm. Let's start with please. I'm not sure that uh, we'll get it in the end, but while I can provide you with the uh, information uh, from the report, I'm unable to assist with writing queries. However, uh, however, a typical uh, SQL query for this might look like select some amount from table where country Germany. Okay, we have SQL query, but we need tax query uh, for it. Pro uh, provide me, let's try one more time. Uh, Uh, the docs query. And we see that we have this query and this query is right. It's amount, uh, amount and we are filtering by uh, com country Germany. And you see, we didn't say that Germany it's a country. And we can understand that Copilot knows our data. And he saw that Germany it's a country. 
and write this query uh, properly. But one more time, we can add this query here. We everything that we could do just copy this query and end it uh, as a measure in our uh, desktop version. And that's it. But it's really cool that we can teach Copilot a little bit and in the end uh, get some uh, basic uh, queries from it. But everything, uh, but all these exercises, it's only before you didn't log out or refresh your page or something, because you will start from the beginning in this case. Maybe you have any another questions? Yeah, Maria, we have one question in the chat. Yeah, one second. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. To be honest, I waste uh, more time to play in with it. Uh, for example, with this Copilot in Power BI, um, I would faster create a report from zero point uh, from the beginning. Uh, then just play with Copilot and try to fix the that things that I, I want to have. In this case, everything should be okay with uh, BI developers in the nearest uh, one, two years at least. <laughs>